Hey folks, uh, this is 75 Green Lodge Street in Dedham. This is an eight room, three bedroom, three full bath, raised ranch with uh, some Tudor styling as you can see. Today is uh, March 25th and it's currently on the market for uh, $525,000. Uh, the property also has a two car attached garage on the left hand side of the property that you might be able to see, but we're going to go through that garage anyway on the way out. So. Uh, so 75 Green Lodge Street, it's a corner lot, um, and um, it's in pretty good shape. The house was built in 1979, it's a raised ranch, so although it's only listed at about 1,500 square feet in the MLS, it's a lot, it lives a lot bigger than that because uh, the town of Dedham doesn't count the lower level of a raised ranch in, in a gross living area. So here we are at the front. So it's a raised ranch, so you'll have you know steps down to the lower level, and you'll have uh, steps down. This is Roxy, by the way. Roxy is a German Shepherd. She's very nice. They have another dog that does bite, though. Um, all right, great. So again, it has some Tudor styling, so you'll see the beams on the ceiling, and it is a sort of a cathedral ceiling here in the living room and the dining room. Okay. They just replaced these hardwood floors. They just put them in a few years ago. Looks really nice, they're distressed. So let's just go straight into the kitchen since that's what most people like to see. Um, I'm gonna say that the kitchen is original from 1979. Um, it's a little eating kitchen. Four, there's a, well they have three chairs here, but uh, four chairs would be fine there. Um, but the kitchen's good shape. It's got a little you know, higher ceilings in the kitchen as well. So again, the kitchen is from 1979. Do I think you need to be Need to replace the cabinets? Nope. What I personally would do is maybe uh, replace some of the uh, hardware and replace the countertops. Um, that's what I would personally do. Okay, yeah, ceramic tile floor. Then, uh, as most raised ranches have, is the dining room right off of the kitchen. Uh, some other another thought is to maybe take you know some of this wall down and and open it. Well, you could actually open the whole thing right up into the living room and the dining room, making a huge open space. Okay. But, uh, so you have the dining room. This is a six seat table. I'm sure they have a leaf here to make it larger. Um, and then this is uh, the living room here. Again, we were just uh, taking a look at this from another angle. So, I guess what we'll do is we'll go over to the first bathroom here, which is on the right hand side of the hallway, okay? Um, it's an older bathroom, without a doubt, um, you know, from 1979, I would say, you know, except for the bath. And, uh, but uh, what I guess what I would say is from 1979 is probably the um, vanity and the flooring. Uh, it wouldn't be much to take care of that, though. It's in nice shape. I mean, listen, although it's from 1979, it's been well cared for, okay? Master, ba uh, master bedroom here, okay? And this master bedroom is pretty cool. It has a little deck right off of it. All right, so it's a good size master. I'm going to say, rough guesstimate, I'm going to say it's about uh, 16 by 14, I would say, but I'm just guess that's just a guesstimate, okay? And then this is the, uh, this is the, well, I'm not going to open that up. This is the uh, little deck that they have. They do have a, an above ground pool that's not open. Uh, they, they, they're willing to take that out if uh, there's a buyer out, out there who doesn't want uh, an in-ground pool. And in the bath, uh, in the bedroom, you have two. Well, actually, you just have a uh, pretty large closet, double door closet here. Okay. So we're gonna head into the uh, master bath here. It's a full master bath. Okay. And uh, a little commode. And uh, you get uh, your sink here. All right. And then you have a shower as well, okay? Shower. So, okay. All right, so on this level as well, we have two other bedrooms. And this is uh, one of the, cor this is the corner bedroom, okay? It is carpeted as well. Um, they have two daughters, so. A lot of kind of daughter stuff here, I guess. And then, um, and then we have the other bedroom here, 
which is in the front middle of the house. Okay. And uh, again, the house has been well taken care of. All right, and this also has double closets. All three of the uh, bedrooms upstairs have double closets. All right, I know the lighting's not great. I apologize. This is not the fanciest uh, camera in the world. So we're going to head downstairs now. Okay, we're going to go see the lower level, which has a nice uh, family room with a bar, which we're going to look at right here. And that's pretty cool. It's got a wet bar in case you want to entertain or whatever. They have a lot of pictures in the walls. Kids played baseball and stuff like that. So, um, And then we have a uh, fireplace, uh, stone fireplace in the lower level family room. And that is working. And then we have Roxy again. Hello, Roxy. She's quiet. She's a nice, nice dog. Uh, carpeted down here as well. Little closet uh, underneath the staircase. Is, you know, I'm sure you've seen in plenty of other raised ranches. And a picture window on the lower level, lower level, excuse me, lower level here as well. Okay. So, oh, all right. Let's go take a look at the systems. Lights. Uh, come on, lights. Lights. Here we go. So, water tank, heating system is original. Um. So you know, uh, just your little, little systems room there. And what we'll do is we're gonna head down to this room here which can be it's not technically a bedroom because it is on the lower level so in the MLS it's only called a three bedroom but uh, used as an office is what they use it for okay good little size I'm gonna say it's probably 8 by 10 I'm gonna say 8 by 9 so a little, little less than 100 square feet and then we also have I forgot to turn on this light, sorry folks. So uh, we have the washer and dryer in its separate room as well. Sorry for all the laundry, but maybe, you know, listen, when you're selling a house, you gotta live in it, you know? That's what I tell my clients, you just gotta live in a house. All right, so we'll shut that door, and then we have another full bath on the lower level here as well. Okay? Uh, and this has a stand-up shower as well, just like the master upstairs. Okay? So... All right, so that is the tour of the interior of the property. And I know we're running long here. We're running almost eight minutes at this point. So we're going to do uh, one quick tour of the uh, garage and then the exterior, and we're going to let you folks finish up here if you're still watching. All right, door to the rear of the uh, building. And the garage, they, they obviously they don't use it for, for uh, cars, but they have a lot of stuff in here. No big deal. All right. So that's the garage right there, two-car garage, and they do have a pretty big driveway here as well. It's a circular driveway, so, you know, whatever way you need to go, uh, you can go out. So, again, they have, so, oh, I forgot to show you the deck as well back here. The deck is a pretty good-sized deck. I'll say that's about 16 by 16, uh, and then there's a level that heads right to the above-ground pool, Okay. Um, the backyard is not huge, I will say. Um, backyard is not the largest I've ever seen, but, you know, it does have a good size, I guess, front side yard, I would say. Um, all right, so that's the above ground pool, and that's, again, the deck, which is off of the kitchen and off of the living, uh, the kitchen and the dining room. And it also has central air and there's a compressor as well. This is the side of the house. Okay. So thank you very much for taking the time to look at this tour of 70, uh, 75 Green Lodge Street in Dedham. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to call your broker. Have yourself a good day and thank you very much for your time. Take care. Bye-bye.